Roller Games on the NES. It's one of my absolute favorite games that you can get for the Nintendo Entertainment System, and most people either don't really know what it is, or don't really like it. So I want to kind of do a quick let's play, just me playing through the game, and me giving my commentary and talking about the music, the gameplay, the segments, the scenes that happen, and just overall give my impressions on the game. Not too long ago, it was maybe two years ago, I did a Till I Die video using this game and I only got to like the third stage and I was really disappointed about that because I wanted to share more. And instead of doing a Till I Die video or a second try at this game, I'm just going to play through the game. And you guys are going to sit through it and watch it with me. So you can either stop watching the video uh, and do something else with it at your time or spend a half an hour or 45 minutes with me playing through this game. So let's do it. Roller games on the NES, playing it all the way through. <laughs> throughout a majority of this game is the Rockers and this is a video game based on an 80s TV series that was about people in roller derby teams and there were storylines and there were teams that were fighting against each other and this game is basically taking the three face teams like the good guy teams and you're going up against the bad guy teams, like the Violators and the whatever other teams there are. And the video game, Roller Games, plays like a mix of kind of like Skater Die almost, in a certain way. Or Ninja Turtles. I mean, the graphics are very Ninja Turtles like. It's like a mix of Ninja Turtles and Double Dragon, right? And the game switches from a sort of skate or die feel of these types of levels where you're rolling around on your skates, it's very fast, and all the bad guys only take one hit, which is awesome. There's lots of obstacles. If I fall in a hole, or get hit by fire, or fall off a frickin' platform, that's the major part of this, is platforming. I will die, and I have to go back to the beginning and start over. Or I get hit by barrels. It's a lot of avoiding stuff, and it's got tons of different styles or different obstacles, I should say. And then it switches to this, whenever you need to get to like a like a big checkpoint or something. It turns into like Double Dragon. So it's got a nice variety. Like the gameplay keeps switching up. Um, in between the bigger stages, there's these like mini... Uh, roadway stages, and you'll see that in a second. But, um, I don't know, I was talking to some friends online, and they were asking about games I'm really good at. And I could pick, like, probably a handful of games that I'm pretty good at. Like NES games, TurboGrafx games, some Genesis games, um, and, and Super Nintendo games. Um, games I could probably play through stop talking um, in a decent amount of time and make videos of them and um, this one was one of them and I thought you know I, I made a video of roller games not too long ago well, I should say that, about two years ago I did it actually um, but I wound up dying in like the third stage so I was really disappointed I was like oh man so that by the way was a character the character I just beat at the end there was an old lady she was like the manager for the Violators. So again, take the Rockers. T-Birds is a... They're all good teams. The... The... Violators are the main ones. The Mind... Mind Bags? And then the... I don't know. Intruders or something like that. I can't read it. I can't read it. I'm illiterate. Anyway, so this is all dodging stuff and obstacles. It's very high pa fa uh, fast paced. Jesus. Well, awesome. That's what it looks like when you die. 
Sweet. Once I screw up, I screw up. I screw up full screw up. Now I get all quiet. One thing I'm gonna try to do too when I'm playing this is I usually I usually like hum or whistle with the music. I gotta make sure I don't do that. Otherwise you guys will be really irritated with me. In later stages, these guys that ride their motorcycles past throw like grenades at you, so you gotta dodge those too. But in this one, just sit tight. They won't hurt you. They just like to ride by and kinda scare you. This area is kind of weird. I discovered this little jumping thing that I do, and the flames completely miss me somehow. I don't know. It looks like I get hit, but apparently I don't. So I just roll with it. And this boss here, basically, you just watch the shadows. So if there's a shadow that, oh, that, are, that appears on your level, you just jump over it when it gets to you. There's nothing more to this. This is the entire um, this is it for the boss. A lot of people always say things like memorizing patterns and stuff. This game does not have the most difficult patterns to memorize until you get to like the end of the game. I mean, the stages themselves are difficult to memorize, but the boss at the end of the game is a pretty big jerk. He's very tough. So we'll see how well I do on that. If I can even make it to one. Yeah, I was thinking about a bunch of games that I'm, you know, I think that I'm alright at. And it's like Star Fox for Super Nintendo. Again, taking the rockers. And this time we're gonna fight the Maniacs. Did I say mind bags? <laughs> Boy, I'm an idiot. Maniacs. This is like, like a junkyard. Yeah, good. For that one I lost earlier. I did that guy's turn. Ah, shiza. Wow, great. I think this is... This whole game has got such an awesome soundtrack. I love it. It's like such classic Konami stuff. It's great. If you fall in a hole, it's one hit death. Don't fall in a hole. Um, flames just take off some damage. Not too bad. Oh, Jesus. Oil slips knock you down. swinging balls. For some reason the rope part doesn't hurt you, so you can go right through it. It looks a lot scarier, more scarier than it is. Yay, boss time. Or mini boss time. What do you want to call these fight scenes? I used to call them like checkpoints, but they're not really checkpoints, because if you die, you don't start at these. You start the whole level over. Ah, God damn. That's one thing about roller games, is you will get used to playing levels over, or the areas over again, because you do have to start very far back if you die. That was dumb. I was going a little too fast there. That was stupid. Wow. Well, I'm glad this is not a Till I Die video. That's for sure. Why do I keep going so hard on this? Nice thing about this spot is you like you have a very small platform to deal with, like you can't go up or down very much. But you, if you run against the wall, like that, it stops you almost right in your tracks. So it's kind of a nice way to put on the brakes. So this game, the play control is really interesting. I wouldn't say it's bad because you're on roller skates. It shouldn't be like playing Double Dragon or Super Mario Brothers or something. It should feel a little loose and slippery, you know? You're on the skates, so. I like this little throw the guys in the water trick here. Oh, shoot. Every level is timed, too, which is odd. Hey, guys.
is not very fun. Oh god, what am I doing? So yeah, there is a timer in this game, but it doesn't really affect you much until later in the game. That's usually a pretty tough jump right there, so I'm pretty happy I got that one. I don't know if there's a lot of speedrunners that do this game, but this would be a good candidate for speedruns. Like get all games done quick or something. I don't know if I'm doing it any justice. Alright, so if you stick around towards the top, this dick on the bottom, who is a dick, by the way, the main manager from the Maniacs, um, he can't really get you with this, like, hole there. I don't trust it, so stay as high up on the top as you can. Dick. There you go. When he comes, you gotta fight him. And he's pretty tough, unless you've got super weapons, or super attacks saved up. So the buttons are A is jump, B is attack, and if you push them both together when you're in those fighting modes, um, you do like this scissors kick thing that does like double damage, so those are good for boss fights. I'm in the middle of a whirl, uh, middle of a level here. Maniacs. Between the maniacs and the violators. Oh, poor dogs. I feel bad. So I try to stay in the middle and stay away from as many as possible. That's alright. I tend to, I think I hit that barrel almost every time I come through here. No, but... Here comes our friends on the motorcycles with the grenades. Anyway, other games that I think I'm alright at. Um, Batman and Batman Return of the Joker on the NES I'm both pretty good at. Um, Bonk's Revenge. Uh, Bonk's Adventure, Bonk's Revenge on the Turbo I'm pretty good at. Lords of Thunder on the Turbo. Um, F-Zero, Star Fox for the Super Nintendo. Super Mario World, I guess. I mean, I guess I'm alright at all the Mario games, but I don't know if I can, like, just blast through them. Although Super Mario Brothers might be kind of fun I want to try, just because I haven't done that one so long. Ugh, bird. Nature. Stupid nature. This is another one of those weird spots where I just stay down here and just jump. I, I don't know. Weird. Little added thing. And here comes another boss. This time it is a semi truck that's full of barrels. And all the barrels come jumping out at me. So just this one's a little more difficult. Two jumps and then you get as far over as possible. Ah, oh, shit. So one, two, and get over. One, two, get over. One, two, alright. One, two, three. Ugh. Turn it. Two, okay. Yeah, so I don't know, it's kind of weird. Yay, I survived. I don't like that boss, the pattern's odd. Like, you do, you jump over the barrel, stay in one line as much as you can, and then, uh, move over. So I stick with the rockers. Um, T-Birds is a big, strong, tough guy who's very slow. He's fat, too. Hot Flash is a girl. She's awesome. The rockers is a average Joe guy. That's the one I keep taking. He's kind of average speed and average strength. The Violators. He looks like this is the manager from the Legion of Doom from the 80s. This stage is weird. I've had mixed results with it. Sometimes I can just fly right through it, and sometimes I struggle like an amofo. So, we'll see which one this is. A lot of platforming later on. The fights aren't hard. It's the platforming and the pitfalls that make this level very, very, very difficult. That was interesting. That was totally random. That one guy came out like he'd already spawned somewhere else, instead of jumping up from the bushes like he's supposed to. Usually these guys in that area back there come out like that. Like that one, and then that one, you know. Don't even bother with those two. That one I'll grab, and this one I'll grab. This looks like deja vu, like I just did this area. best you can. Just 
seems to be the best strategy for these two goons. Not two goons, but a bunch of goons. So this area here is... sucky. <laughs> Yippee skippy. Well, I continued already, so I must not be too good at this game. But there's only two more stages, so I guess I'm doing alright. Dicks. They're like smart too, these brawling jerks. At least they're all on skates. <laughs> So they're all miserable and having a hard time moving through this like grass and dirt with their rollerblades on. Just so strange. Uh, guys, what's that again? That's so weird. Whatever. Whatever. Roller skating and the, this like obstacle coursey like <laughs> areas are very like fast paced, and the fighting spots kind of slow it down. But it kind of like it's a nice welcome change because it's kind of just beat them up, you know, in the middle of a interesting platformer type game. I, I do love that the graphic style is very like Ninja Turtles. It's almost like some of these areas and stages were like on the editing floor of, like, Ninja Turtles 3 or something. Well, technically this came up for Ninja Turtles 3. It was, before Tur it was between Turtles 2 and Turtles 3. And I think that's what I like the most about this game, is how much it was like Turtles. In certain ways. Wow! What's wrong with me? Idiot. Great! I just love doing this area. So I did say sometimes I can fly through this, and sometimes I have a problem with it. Looks like I'm having a problem with it. Dang it. If I would stop screwing up, I'd probably have a pretty decent, like, completion time on this game. If I would stop being such a jerk, I'd just beat the stupid level. Duh. <laughs> I love the guys that are one-hit kills. <laughs> They're my favorite. See, that's what you're supposed to be. You're supposed to jump out from the bushes. Trickster. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Suck it, Trebek. Suck it long and suck it hard. and be proud that you beat up people while wearing roller skates. This is the interesting part. It's like, where are these barrels even coming from? <laughs> oh shit. Ooh, that was real close. That could have been bad. I should slow down a little bit. Nope, just go. Also, I love the drums in this game. <laughs> This the sound for track is so good. <sighs> At this point, I think I would take off my roller skates. Because you don't want to be doing this on roller skates. Just no way. It's too hard.
Are you kidding me? My shadow was on that raft. Oh, you runt pumpkinst. Son of a boob. Mm. My shadow was on the raft. I think I lined that up perfect. What a pisser. Dang it. Urgh. Oh, you fun. What? In the Heathcliff? Damn it. I thought I was lining those up perfect, too. Guess I'm just not. I did that one really recklessly. That was fun. Thought I was screwed for a second. Guess what? Now I get to do the whole stage over again. That's awesome. Fudge! Oh, Jesus! Oh, no, I don't! Oh, what a godsend. I thought I had to do 5 1 over again. Cool. Wow. I can't believe I've already continued twice and once on this stage all by itself. And I keep getting hit by the stupid piranhas. Stupid piranhas. I don't know what accent that was. That was my broken Matt Hardy accent. Or Senor Benjamin accent. So I'm at a loss. I don't know what exactly it is that I'm doing wrong on that jump. Because I swear I lined it up. As long as your shadow is on the raft, it should be fine. But apparently not. Apparently the shadow's just a the shadow is a lie. Oh my god, am I a clumsy buffoon. Oh, fudge. Now I'm all serious. I sat up, that means I'm serious mode now. No, apparently that doesn't mean anything. You get to see the, uh, <laughs> the absolute destruction of me. rage quit and just say, screw it, this video is stupid, or do I continue through until the end? Show that I'm not a weakling. It's my last guy, so of course I'll get really far. I screwed up. And, oh god. Blah! This area, I remember having, oh my god, that almost messed me up. The boss of this area, I remember giving me problems years ago. Because I couldn't figure out his pattern or something. Okay, well, that worked. Yeah, this boss is kind of a tough area because he's like this weird oddball shaped like platform that I'm fighting on, so you gotta try to stay in the fuck you, and I, I try not to swear during this video. It's like you gotta try to stay in the middle, like pan and all thing. Otherwise, yeah. So this is an interesting boss. It's on a water ski. A guy comes through, throws a couple grenades. Try to hit him with that scissors kick when he comes through. And he's not that tough. It takes a lot of his power off. And the best way to do it then, and you think it would be to like jump kick, but jump kick doesn't do that much damage, is just to punch. Because punch is a safer, and you're not jumping around. Thanks, man. I remember sitting here and fighting this boss, and like watching the timer go, because all of a sudden the timer starts going really fast. It's like, what the heck? I got really panicky, and I remember the first time I got to this guy, I could not beat him. And he'd do shit like that, he'd just go by, and it's like, the timer's going, and I'm like, uh... But if you hit him with enough scissors kicks, you get him. And when he comes through, you cannot miss him. Um, otherwise, it's tough. And here's the final stage. So, on this, uh... I'll have to test this. I have... 
I think I'm gonna die anyway because. <laughs> Ooh, good job. But the worst is yet to come. Alright, well, I took the T Birds guy because he's really strong. And he also has sort of more conservative jumping. It's a smaller jump. He's a big dude, so. In the old 80s cartoon, he was like sort of one of the better or like bigger characters. He's also like really strong. Like he takes two two hits to like knock people on their butt. It's awesome. He's really good. But he's slow. I mean this is like tough to maneuver around. Doesn't, maybe doesn't look as slow as he feels, but to me he feels really slow. Oh great. There's the level one boss again. Get out of here. Um, anyway, he was like a big, popular character in the old 80s show. Um, oh god. Dicks! Get out of here! Where are you going? Butthead. Uh, this timer is also very low. Ah, oh, shoot, I went the wrong way. This is also a maze area, so get that. I probably would have been better just taking the rockers guy for the stage. I'm almost dead. Awesome! Yay! So I'm gonna take the rockers guy just for this first stage area because it's. I need to be quicker. Timer is going quick and. I think I'm just more used to jumping around with this idiot. <laughs> this idiot. Brother, where are those barrels even coming from? They must be falling, like, off of these, like, maze objects that they made, or something. You look like Linda in, in Roper from, like, Double Dragon. <laughs> After Double Dragon 2 ended, they, they were seeking work, and so they found a, a roller skating rink to go and be henchmen for. Yeah, this guy's a lot faster. Makes the fights go by quicker. And everything go by quicker. Ugh. Dead? Nope. Now you dead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you dead? Sanka, you dead? Ugh. I'll just let them be. Ah, Shiza, come back here. And it's down and over, right? Yep. Yar! Well, I tried. So this is shooty, is shooty. I can't do it with the rocker guy. I just cannot do this area with him. He's too quick, and I need more precision on some of these jumps. I just can't do it. So I'm gonna do something really cheap here. This is really lame of me, and I'm sorry. I probably should have taken the T-Bird guy in the first area so I didn't have to do that. I hate doing that, but I will literally f play this game for for hours before I'm able to get through the stage with anybody else besides this guy. It's just his jumping. It's like... I don't know what it is. He's just really easy to jump and is it's more controlled and it's slower and I'm slow like I can't think fast enough and so when it's too fast I can't keep up maybe. So the T-Bird guy I do this stage with the T-Bird guy. It's, only, it's the only level in the game where I need someone else other than the Rocker guy. <laughs> like, the Rocker guy is easier to fight with, he's easier to control in most every situation except for this one. Oh, I hate these jerks. This is like that chick that was in the um, boss stage earlier with the guys poking me. Yay, I got him. He's tough. So this is sort of a mini boss rush with horrifically mean um, shit, I think I jumped too hard, Ken Flargan also one-hit deaths on all the spikes, so you know it's gonna be a pain in the ass. 
Um, yes. Boss, mini boss rush. I think I did it again. Fudge! Ah! This is gonna be an interesting video. Let's see many, how many different swears I can say. <laughs> boss rush with horrifically mean platforming. It's a good explanation of what this area is like, because it's just mean. Ugh. And this brat. Also, one thing I did not talk about in those um, bridge levels, there's only two of them. What amazing parallax scrolling. I mean, come on, that's pretty sweet to see on the NES game. I always loved that when I could see systems that are only able to do one layer of scrolling, seeing parallax, because that's like a lot of effort, you know? And systems that are able to natively do that, that's like nothing. Super Nintendo Genesis, Neo Geo especially, it's like, that ain't, that ain't even difficult. Yeah, I made it to that one spot. Oh god. So this is the toughest part of the whole area. Good luck. Good luck. God damn it, this is so hard. by rolling off the frickin' stupid thing. Yay. Oh shoot, this is, uh, really weird. <sighs> These stupid spikes, that is a one-hit death right there, too. Oh god, fat ass, get up there. the timer doing that. It makes me so nervous. I'm going, I'm going. Alright, so here's the boss of the game. Obviously this, pa this platforming right here is pretty much useless. Like, I can do that in my sleep. It's easy. I love the music in this area too. It's so good. So we'll see if I can do it with Big Dude. I don't think I can do it though. This is a tough fight, and I need someone quicker, and the rocker guy is just so much easier to control. Finisher. There we go, got him again. Two times. <laughs> Three times. Oh my god. Okay, well. Um. Ah, shit. Ah, fuck. God damn it. I'll try it again. In the sport. Uh, in, in, the, in, in, in being a sport. I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say there. I'll 
I'll try it with the big guy, but I, I'm pretty sure that I will not make it and I'll have to use the rocker. He's awesome at like just pounding down people with his two hits, that's pretty sweet. But once you fight a boss, he's just so hard. If I could just like beat him down, that'd be awesome. But there's no way, I can't use like regular punches against him, he just does this stupid, he's got like, oh, he's so tough. gotta do drop kicks and catch him like right when he lands or something. Ugh. Big tummy, got him once. Got him twice. Got him thrice. Now it's just drop kicks. Ugh, but he does that crap. Ugh. Ugh. I got him there. Yay. Oh, fun. Oh my god. Ugh, it's just not gonna work. It's just, he's just too quick. Look at this crap. There, I got him again, yay. Oh. Shiza. Sorry. It's just never gonna happen. 36 minutes. Come on, I gotta do it now. Here we go. Time to kick a little ass. Rocker. Guy. Man, dude. Here we go. Full health, at least. That'll be cool. Let's see if I can do something. Should be a little quicker this time. I think I do take a little bit more damage, though, so we'll see. I don't know why I just regular kicked him there, but... There, I got a scissors, a scissors kick. Got him with that kick. Come on, Chabby. Fudge! Caught me. Ugh. Trying to do my scissors kick thing. Come in, come get me, come get me. Got him. Shit, I missed him. This is fucking... Oh, oh man, I missed him. Oh. oh, boy, does this fall apart fast. Jeepers, creepers. Why even try to cover up my swears now? I already swore like a sailor. God damn it. Such a dick. Ooh, I kicked him. Got him again. Ooh, I got him again. Hmm. <gasps> Boom! Suck it! Yay! There's Hot Flash, T-Birds, and Rockers. Game is now over, and you are victorious. Today, three teams will play an exciting game. The action is really not only from TV. Oh, the action is real, not only from TV. I can't read. So, that's roller games for the NES. Awesome. There's the hot flash girl, so you actually get to, you do get to see her. More awesome Konami music. Um, you get to see some of the names from the staff from the game. Um, you know, again, I think this is a cool game. I really do. I think it's fun. Um, I bet if I practiced a little bit more, I could do an actual really good Let's Play video or, or a long play of this. But I figured I would just play through it, share it with you guys. I think it's got good music, it's got good graphics. The play control is really iffy, like, it certainly isn't good control, because <laughs> it's... You know, it's really loose and it's very icy and very slippery. 
especially during all the crazy platforming spots, but I really like it. I think it makes sense because he's on roller skates. And I think it's cool that it's finicky and it's, you know, the bad play control is almost a feature that you have to get used to. <laughs> so, I don't know. I think it's a cool game. I picked this game up, jeez, it was in a clearance bin <laughs> in like 92 or 93 maybe at the latest. No, it was probably 91 or 92. This was before I got a Super Nintendo, and I remember getting this game, my parents, from a local big box store called Pomida. My mom saw it, or uh, I walked, I always loved looking through video games, and it was $20 in a clearance bin. And I'm like, Mom, please, please, please. And she's like, I guess, because it's only $20. And then I got it home and I played it, and I'm like, it's really good. Like, I'm shocked. A lot of times my clearance games that I would grab were really bad. I remember Bases Loaded 2. Not the best game. It's baseball, but it's it's definitely no baseball stars. And like, Dick Tracy was not very good. Go Go 13. I mean, these are games that are like, eh, they're okay, but not that great. But this one was really fun. So, anyway. There's roller games for the NES. Um, I continued a whole bunch of times, but I did wind up playing through it, the whole game. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it wasn't too annoying and stupid listening to me talk during it. Again, I apologize for swearing, but that happens. And that's the game. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy.